well after my XFL video got a bunch of views and a bunch of comments you know talking about me having disagreements with all the rules and stuff I figured today why don't we go in hop in the um, hop in the machine here and think hmm what rules can the NFL utilize um, you know that could better the game make the game faster so most games end in about three hours anyway so I don't know what the whole deal is with the XFL I talked about two hours and 45 minutes so you're basically gonna get a game in three hours anyway so you know it is what it is um, but we're not here to talk about the XFL today we're here to talk about the NFL I think the first thing that we really that needs to be that's probably going to be changed. I don't know if it's going to be changed or not, but it probably should be changed. Which is the uh, the pass interference um, challenge, because um, most of the time the refs just did not call it when it needed to be called, um, and it was just bad rule. Like half the time there was pass interferences that were clearly pass interferences, and the other times there weren't. And the refs just didn't call anything, so you know it is what it is. Um, it, the season, the regular season is over now. We're in playoff mode now, so you know. Um, I think we need. I think we need to really figure out what a catch is. We need to figure out what a catch is. The NFL. Um, if you can't figure it out, you know, t you know, catch the ball first off. Um, the whole football move thing is such a such a weird you know weird little fallacy to me to be completely honest uh, you know catch the ball if, you, if you're along the line along the sideline you know have both feet in bounds um, I know the XFL has the one foot in bounds which is like college um, um, but you know, gotta improve that a little bit. You know, the whole what is a catch? What is a catch? Um, overall, I think the referees just need to be improved a lot. You know, call the game a little better. Um, now, the AAF had the Sky Judge or something like that. Um, I think, you know, it's like the Sky Judge from like. That can like see everything on the field. I think we need that in the NFL. We definitely need that. You know, we don't have to go all the way up to New York um, every single time for a, a replay and stuff like that. It'll make the game a lot better. Um, kickoffs. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't think there should be. You know, I mean, it. it it's. It's an old. It's archaic. It's fun when there is a kickoff return. But I'm really leaning towards, you know, hey, just put the ball to 25 and let's start this game, you know, <laughs> and everything like that. Now, the XFL did introduce the ball spotting official, which is something I think I said I liked. Uh, we're going to have to implement that at some point. Um, just just get it in there at all. Um, kickers. Now, the point after try is... Not as automatic as you think anymore. It used to be like 99%. Maybe it's now like um, 85, 90%. So it's not easy. Now I'd say uh, maybe have it, you know, back a little bit further. Or or when you try for a point after, uh, instead of, you know, kicking the ball in the upright, you can just go for two. Just like all the time. All the time you go for two. You don't. You don't. You, you, don't, you just don't need a kicker at all for for extra points. You only need it for field goals. Just go for two um, each time you score a touchdown. Um, that's one. That's definitely one thing. Um, let me see. What else? What else would there be that I think? Oh, overtime. Now, overtime is a tricky beast because I think personally, if you can't stop anybody, if like if you, like if say a team goes seventy-five yards down the field, that you and, and scores a touchdown and they end up winning the game, you know I don't think you need a chance, you know, to get the ball if you can't stop them and make them hit a field goal at all, or alternatively, we could go college style, which is. Obviously, my preferred style of overtime, um, it, you know, started at 
what the 50 yard line or something like or hell maybe the 35 um i, th I think the 35 is a lot better instead of the 25 um started at the 35 you get you get your chances you need to go down win the game you know after a certain point um you start going for two instead of you know doing the um <laughs> instead of doing the um, point after you know like like after three overtimes you just go for two um, and after like five I don't think we got to that point in college football this season but it's like after five you just start doing two pointers and stuff like that but that's something we need um, to definitely make the game a lot easier you know or a lot more fun <laughs> and stuff like that. I think we need to also, you know, um, you know, not make it so easy on offense. I have always hated the targeting rule no matter what. And I know it's for the safety of the game, but I do not like it. Um, I never have. I think it should be eliminated entirely. You know, just like the player getting ejected because half the time the player that's launching himself ended up hitting ending up hitting the quarterback or somebody like that they they end up you know it's in the, it ends up being inadvertent half the time and the other half is like oh shit i made a mistake um and that sucks it sucks so the player has to get ejected for perhaps for one hit that may that more than like like 85 percent of the time was accidental uh, so targeting rules should be scrapped no thank you today beyond clowny remember all the way back in that Outback Bowl or, or Citrus Bowl a long time ago, which is ABL kind of just absolutely destroyed a Michigan player on, on when he was trying to run the ball. I still remember that play, and I still remember the targeting rules being like introduced like the next season. Such a dumb rule. Um, and as far as any other rules that I can think of, um, yeah, I, I just don't know. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> like fumbles. I mean, half the most of the time they're called correctly. Um, like replay really tries as hard as they can. You get. Uh, I think the replay just needs to be like a little bit shorter. You know, thirty seconds max. If you can't, if you you need to get all in there thirty seconds max so we can get the game back on. This shouldn't take three minutes to. You know, get a whole three minutes and a, a, a TV timeout where we have to be forced to watch commercials and stuff like that to get um, a verdict on whether it was a fumble or something like that or whatever it may be or not. Um, and lastly, um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching because <laughs> uh, I can't think of any other rules that I think that should be changed right now. Um, what about y'all? What do y'all think? Um, sound off in the comments section. I had a thrilling discussion with a gentleman last night um, about the XFL rules. And I want to know what you guys think. There's 45 of you that subscribe, and there's all sorts of unique viewers that come to this channel each and every day. And I want you unique viewers to subscribe to this channel. So... Um, with that being said, everybody, y'all take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.